So this video is going to be a repair of an SV2000 BCR repair. And you can see it gets the Fu9, the older Fu9 mechanism. I'm going to go ahead and see what it does. I'm pretty sure it's going to eat this tape, but this tape's been eaten before, so we'll sacrifice it. Does load it. Yep. And that's what it does, pretty much. So I'll remove it out. You just kind of want to get the tapes over it so it doesn't rip it. To try to reload it too. And then you hold this flap up here and pull the tape out pretty much. But yep, it got an uh, issue of eating tape. So we'll figure out what's going on. I got to tear it down. We'll do the bolt switch first and see if that fixes it. I can also see, yeah, this had some hours on it. You can see some wear there. So we we'll have to clean that oxid off the heads and stuff like that and clean the heads. You just use a piece of paper and alcohol, but I'll go and tear this down. Let's see if we can get the mode switch um, fixes the problem of eating the tapes. And it's not another problem like with the cap stand and so forth. So once you remove the front panel, these are actually pretty easy to service the mode switch on. It doesn't require having to remove the whole entire PCB. All you have to remove is the screws. There's one there, there's one there, and then there's one there, one there, and then one that's over there. You remove those five screws, you have to remove the shield too, of course. Once you do that, you just grab the mechanism, and it literally plugs in as it lifts right out. This one was a much better quality deck, and wow, that's an interesting board. I haven't seen one of those on these, but yeah, it's pretty straightforward on these now. We'll go and look at the underside of the mechanism. And here's your mode switch right there. And that's what it is. And I can tell that's oxidized pretty badly. So I'm going to go and get that off. But you can see how everything plugs in. There's your cap stand. Head drum. And of course, you know, to feed the motor for the actual head. And then also for the audio head and stuff like that. But I'm going to go ahead and get this screw out here. Pop that out. And I'll be right back once I'm done. So I went ahead and took the mode switch apart, and yeah, this is pretty bad. It's pretty it's black in certain areas and stuff, and the contacts are no better. So I'm going to have to clean that, and hopefully that will fix the problem and get this machine working pretty much. So I went ahead and got rid of the tarnish on the contacts and cleaned it up. And same thing with the wipers, too. They're nice and clean, and I also bended them a little bit upwards, too. So I'm going to go and spray a little bit of deoxid, put it back together, and hope that it works. Now to reassemble it, you take it out the same way pretty much, but there's a flat end right there. You just lined it with the flat end, and then you just drop it right in, and of course there's a locating right there. And you keep the wire under there the same way they had it before. Then you put the screw in there, and it's all finished pretty much. Belt's in pretty good condition. I mean, there's plenty of grease still on there. I'm just going to go and test it right now. Maybe I'll regrease it or not, but it looks like it's, it's still pretty good. But let's go and get this back into the chassis and just see if it works. I'm curious to know what this board actually is. I'm trying to read the markings on that I see, but I can't quite read it. But let me see if I can zoom in. And if anyone can tell me what this board does, I'll appreciate it. But it doesn't look like it's factory. This looks like it's actually someone added this in there. They did a nice job, though. I'll give them that. But let's go ahead and get the deck back in and see if this thing even functions. So, went ahead and put the chassis back. Let's see if this thing acts any different. Let's go ahead and power her on. And let's just see what this thing does. Hopefully, it works. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, it's playing. Yep, <laughs> that fixed it. Let's stop. Let's see if I can figure out which one's the Ford. Let's just see if the Ford. Yep, we got fast forward. Let's see if we get rewind. 
Yep, the rewind war. Let's see. Let's just put play again. Let me see where the pause is. There is actually. Yeah, it's right here. Oh, wait. It's doing something different. Huh, that's strange. I wonder if it got stiction issues or something because I can see it going in and out. Or something's wrong with the capstan motor. Yeah, it shouldn't be doing that. Does advance, alright. Play. It's kind of strange though, it stopped on its own. Let's see if we're getting video output. There might be something else wrong with this thing. Let's do four. Let's do. I want to do four then. Yeah, it does do four short, alright. Okay. Okay, so you know what we're gonna do? There you go, it hooked the AV input in there, see if we get video first, and then we'll give the head a cleaning to see if it still acts up. So I went ahead and plugged in the cables to the receiver. Let's see what we get now. Let's see if we get a picture. Kind of curious to see this thing even plays back, the head's being that dirty. Wow, that is surprising. If we get any audio, let's turn it up a little bit. Yep, I can't play too much of that, but it does push, produce a picture. Let's go and go fast forward. And yeah, it's fast forward, it's searching, let's rewind. And it does seem to work now. It actually worked itself out. Uh, of course, you got to run it for a while just to see if any issues pop up. Yeah, it's not doing the weird stoppages it was doing before. It could be something was sticking. Which we're going to go ahead and clean this up anyway. Oh uh, yeah, it does seem to be working now, so that's a good thing. Do got to clean the heads, and I'll probably re-oil and grease everything and then put it back together and hope that it stays working. If not, then we're going to be checking all this stuff, I guess. So I went ahead and gave the heads a real good clean. You can see now they're nice and shiny. No more of that gunkin stuff. It was some sticky stuff on there. Shockingly enough, the head wasn't um, sticking because it was still spinning when it stopped that one time. I have a funny feeling it was actually the pinch roller because there was a lot of gunk on that too. And I went ahead and cleaned and it hasn't done it since. It's actually working great and I ran it for a good hour or so already. So... It is working good now. I'm gonna let you watch that. I'm no longer doing that slowdown thing it was doing when I first tried it. So there you go, and there's the picture. And the picture quality is actually pretty good on this machine. See there? Okay, play. Let's go reverse slow. Let's go right to four on um, fast search. Yep, so it does seem to be working, which is a good thing. So it is running. It doesn't seem to be stopping or sticking anymore. I think I can put this thing back together and it'll be good to go. And let's just go ahead and go fast forward. Might as well. I know a lot of people like to see these things in operation, so. I'm going to go another forward for a little bit. Okay. Let's go ahead and rewind it now. This is one of the earlier Funine mechanisms. These were actually okay. These weren't as bad as some of the newer ones.
Guess it doesn't slow down like it slows on me because the light and stuff's probably affecting it too, but. Yeah, let's just see how it's tracking. It's tracking right now. Yep, yeah, I think it found it. Let's just board it. Yep. Yeah. Um, auto tracking works. I'm just testing the function. Don't mind me. Yep, so I'm going to go and get the shield back on, and we'll get this thing back together, I guess. So I went ahead and fully reassembled it, so let's go ahead and just demonstrate it. I'll turn it on. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and go. Okay. And there you go, it's fully repaired. So this concludes the video for the SV2000 VCR.